Welcome to a demo video of Carry by AppScript.com. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you the central dispatcher portal along with the driver application. Now the dispatcher portal is a portal from where a central dispatcher can send bookings to drivers and can assign and unassign bookings and it gives them control over the uh, drivers and the, the vehicles in the application. So some of the functions that we will go through today are the automated dispatch that our system has and the automated dispatch means that you will have to spend less of your resources on manually assigning bookings. The system does the job for you wherein the system automatically looks for a driver and uh, we will be looking at manually assigning a job to a driver and we will be looking at unassigning a job from a driver and assigning it to another driver. And uh, we will also be looking at the payment methods. The different payment methods are a wallet, cash, and card. Now, let me log into the dispatcher portal. And I will also log into the driver application, as you can see on the right hand side. I select my vehicle on the driver app. It's a limousine. So I'm now logged in on the driver application and I can go offline and online with the button on top. Now coming to the dispatcher portal, uh, as you can see, the dispatcher portal gives the central dispatchers an overview of all the bookings going on in the application. Uh, the different statuses that we have are in dispatch which means that a booking is being automatically dispatched by the system and uh, after a certain amount of time which is preset by the admin that a booking will spend in auto dispatch it will move to the unassigned tab after that time period has expired and once a booking is in the unassigned tab it can be picked up and assigned to a driver who is available and uh, once a booking is assigned to a driver either automatically or manually, the booking moves to the assigned tab. And uh, in the assigned tab, you can see the statuses of the various bookings. And after a booking is complete or it expires, it moves to the pass tab. So I'll start with a new booking now. And uh, I click on the book now function but before that I can also choose my city and this is useful because central dispatchers will generally be based in certain cities and uh, they will do the bookings for those cities so when I click on book now I can sort of enter my name and the uh, phone number and email ID are stored in, in the database and uh, the portal recognizes that it is a registered customer. Now if someone is a registered customer they have their own payment methods and uh, let's say a customer has added his card the dispatcher can make a booking and bill the amount to that customer's card. My vehicle type is a limousine in this case. So I select the vehicle type and before that I enter my pickup address and my drop address. And uh, over here I can select the number of seats that I need in the vehicle. And over here I can select preferences for the driver but none of these are enabled on this particular driver right now so I'm not going to select anything. And the first payment method that I will go, go through is the wallet. So basically the wallet is uh, a sort of credit that the customer has and the wallet can be recharged by the customer from his own application and uh, the customer can add a card in his application and recharge his wallet for a certain amount and the customer can then use that amount to book rides on the application. 
In this case, the dispatcher is booking a ride on behalf of a customer. So as a dispatcher, you get access to the customer's wallet. And we have something called a hard limit and a soft limit for a wallet. So these are the limits below which the uh, customer will not be able to book a ride using his wallet. Now, if, the, uh, if his wallet balance reaches the soft limit, the customer gets a notification. And if it reaches the hard limit, he can no longer make a booking. So in this case, my uh, after I double check, I will dispatch the load. And as you can see, on the driver application, I have now got a uh, pop-up and I have to click on it to accept the booking. So let's say the driver accepts this booking. So the booking was initially in in-dispatch and the system automatically looked for a driver and uh, the booking spends a certain amount of time in the auto dispatch section after which after the driver has accepted it, it moves to the assign tab. And uh, coming to the driver app, when I arrive at my pickup location, I swipe right. And the dispatcher gets a status update saying that the driver has arrived. And as you can see, the status, up, status has been updated over here as well. So the dispatcher can sort of have a broad overview of all the trips that are currently assigned in this city or anywhere for this matter. When the driver is ready to start the trip, he swipes right. And again, the dispatcher gets a notification saying that the trip has started. Now, in the driver app, he can use Google Maps or ways to navigate to his location, as you can see. But in this case, I will complete the trip. And I get the invoice on my driver application where I can rate my customer. And we are done. So that booking is now complete. And as you can see, the booking has is no longer in the assigned tab. It has come down and uh, the system also sends me a receipt for the booking via email. So if I open my email, here it is. This is the receipt for the booking that I just completed. It shows your vehicle type, the trip time and the fare. So my minimum fare is 100 rupees and my pickup fee is 3 rupees. So uh, coming back to the dispatcher portal, I will show you a couple of different flows of the application now. So the next booking we will do is a, is a uh, cash booking. So I will enter my name here. I choose my vehicle type. In this case, I will show you how the manual uh, dispatch works. So a manual dispatch is done in case the dispatcher does not want to automatically uh, dispatch the booking to a driver. Let's say the dispatcher wants to pick a driver and give him the booking. He will use the manual dispatch. And here I choose cash. So my wallet balance won't be affected when I choose cash. And I say book now. So my booking is confirmed, but since I have not chosen auto dispatch, uh, it is it cannot be seen in the in dispatch tab, which means that it has to be manually assigned. So when I come to the unassigned tab, I can see that the first booking here has an expiry time of one, of two minutes, which can be set from the admin panel, and that is the booking that I just made. When I click on it, I get a list of all online drivers with the vehicle type that I require. And I can click on my driver and say that I want to dispatch booking. Now as soon as I dispatch it, my driver gets a notification 
and I can accept it on my driver application. So there we go. The dispatcher has manually assigned a booking to a driver of his choosing. And the trip is now complete. Now the next function I will show you is the assigning and unassigning of bookings from a driver. And my receipt has come as well. The next function that I will show you is the assigning and unassigning of bookings from a driver. Now in this case what I will do is I will turn an other driver online on a different device. So um, if I just want to show you the drivers that are online I can see that there are two drivers and the second driver with plate number 123, 123, 657 is the new driver that I have turned online and that is whom I will be uh, assigning this job to initially. So in order to assign, in order to automatically assign the job to my second driver, I have, I will turn my first driver offline. As you can see, when I turn my driver offline over here, it's no longer available for dispatch on the dispatch job portal. And this works in real time. When I turn him online, there he is. And I'll turn him offline. And uh, in this case, I'll do a card booking. And the card that is already stored here is a card that my customer has, or rather, this particular customer has added in his account. So I'll click book now. And the other device has got the booking. So what I will do is I am accepting the booking on my second device right now. I can't show you that since I can only show one on the screen. And if I go to the assign tab, I can see that this job has been assigned to this vehicle uh, with a number 123657. Now what I will do is I will unassign it from this driver. And at the same time I turn my driver online as you can see over here. So when I go to the unassign tab, the first booking, I want to assign it to this particular driver right now and his plate number is KA11. So I click on him and I say dispatch and there we go. I have unassigned it from the first driver and manually assigned it to another driver. So I will accept it and I get the status update seeing the driver is on the way. So I've now completed the trip and uh, that covers a lot of the features and functions of the dispatcher portal and we will be coming up with more videos shortly on this. Uh, thank you for watching and I will now log out of my accounts.